What is up guys, this is The Real Sports Talk, and this is the post-race video for the New Hampshire race. Uh, with AJ Allmendinger out of the car, Sam Hornish Jr. steps in. We're still waiting on Allmendinger's B sample to come back. And once that's tested, he's got an independent tester as well as NASCAR's tester to retest that. And we'll see what comes of that and what lies with AJ Allmendinger's suspension. Uh, Sam Hornish Jr. fills in that car. He finishes 22nd in his first full weekend with a team, possibly the team he's going to end up being with for the next season and possibly the rest of this season with Roger Penske. Unless we see that becomes a premier, premier ride in the series, unless a very good driver, Penske feels, can fill that role better than Sam Hornish Jr. We'll just have to see what happens with that, but Penske has really a choice of drivers, and he's got a lot of faith in Sam Hornish Jr. from his days in the IndyCar series and the success he's had with him there. So I expect Sam Hornish Jr. to be in that car. Uh, Denny Hamlin had the dominant car in this race today, and he led over half the laps, and he just couldn't come away with the win in the end because he went with a four-tire call in the pits. Him and his crew chief did a little miscommunication there. They probably should have taken two. They both kind of wanted to take two, but there was miscommunication, so Darian Grubb thought Denny wanted four tires, and so he put four tires on, everyone else took two, and Denny Hamlin fell back to 13th position for this restart. And on a day where it was very difficult to pass and go up through the field and everything, Denny Hamlin just cruised through the field. He made up all the spots up to second, hardly anyone, anyone else could pass on the racetrack, and Denny just... As Kyle Petty put it on the broadcast, he put on a, on a clinic, and that's what Denny Hamlin did today. Moving up through that field was equivalent to what a Tom Brady or Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers does when he puts up 200 yards in one half and scores 35 points for his team. It was a great display of driving for Denny Hamlin. He said that hopefully they'll win the one that counts in September in the chase, but this would definitely help him, but the guy that did win this race, Casey Kane, it's going to go a long way toward helping his chase hopes, and it really puts him in position for one of those chase spots unless something extremely drastic happens in the points. Because as of now, the guys outside the top 10 are probably the guys that are going to be racing for it, considering they are 46 points behind, Carl Edwards is, 46 points behind Brad Keselowski for the 10th place position, and that's just him. Case Kane and Kyle Busch are 20 and 22 points behind Carl Edwards, so they're probably not going to get into the top 10. And at this point, Jeff Gordon gets another top 10 finish, but he's he's got to have a miracle to be able to make this chase because he probably needs, at, or he definitely needs at least two wins to get in at this point. And it's going to be very difficult for him to do that. Uh, Clint Boyer ends up finishing third. He was, he was really quiet throughout the day, but he ends up coming away with a decent finish. Brad Keselowski finishes fifth, Jeff Gordon sixth, Jimmy Johnson thought the last caution was kind of BS, but he kind of just kept his mouth shut about it after the race. Uh, Kevin Harvick, new dad, finishes in eighth position, Greg Biffle in ninth, and Ryan Newman in tenth. Um, we got our midseason grades up for you. Me and another one of the bloggers on the Real Sports Talk website will have that up there within the next day. So go check that out and check out our midseason grades and who our predictions are for the chase as we move forward to that. That's a good thing, so go check that out. And also I have another announcement. This is going to be my last regularly scheduled weekly, or bi-weekly, I guess, video on the Real Sports Talks channel. Uh, some things are just coming up here lately and will be in the future, and I won't be able to have the resources to be able to make these videos with as high of a quality as I'd like. I don't really want to give you guys trash as far as just me BSing it. And uh, I got a lot of things coming up, so it's been a pleasure to be on the Real Sports Talk. I just want to thank everyone on here that's supported me, whether it's Tim or those other guys that were on here before me that allowed me to come on to this channel <clears throat> and just kind of let some of you guys know a little bit more about NASCAR and I've gotten some personal messages that said I've gotten people interested in the sport and that's 
That means a lot to me. That's really what I'm here for, to improve your NASCAR watching experience and help you understand things better. And it's not just guys going around in circles and things like that. I also want to thank all the viewers that have given me, uh, obviously, the views and the constructive criticism that have made me better at what I do here on the Real Sports Talk. And that's meant a lot to me as well. I'll be also blogging on the Real Sports Talk. I'm going to try to keep up with that on their website. So you can still check me out there sometimes. And I might make some uh, guest appearances as well in videos on this channel. So I'll see you guys around. And thanks for sticking with me for the last year.